Jen! Wow! Another amazing match, folks! With the outcome of this match, this will be the Burglar's third victory in a row today! Let's go tally it up! The Burglar takes today's lead at number one, with Kate being knocked down to number two, and Cuckles placing at number three. Here in the middle, we have Sadal going from seventh place to fourth in just one match, pushing Sana down to number five. And here we have Tilty Dong and Debu Avery tied for sixth, 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 sixth place. I'm looking forward to seeing who ends up keeping it in the next match. While our contestants vote for the next arena, let's head over to the commentary desk. Joining me for this following passage of time will be frequent guest and gladiatorial expert, Dr. Saul Backman. Say hello, Dr. Backman. Oh, please. My father was Dr. Backman. Call me Saul. So no, I... No, he wasn't. What, what? Sig Backman wasn't a doctor. What do you mean? Sig Backman was not a doctor. Oh. So, Saul, what did you think of our last match at the Stallywag Museum? Well, Louie, I just want to give a shout-out to the scouts for securing these scenic locations for the tournament. Exhibits featured at the Stallywag Museum are just fantastic, and I am grateful that the curators allowed the tomblets to find it out in such a beautiful place. Oh, definitely! Now, I have to say that my favorite part of the match was when Cuckles managed to glue jump his way past Dildy's fire splats directly into the quad power. With how fast he was flying through those flames, he made it out with very minor injuries and an extra helping of power. Fantastic play on his part. It was quite a sight to behold for sure. Now the placements today have been quite wild. We've seen people get jettisoned from the top to the bottom, and vice versa. It's definitely hard to tell at this stage, but who do you think will be the true champion at the end of today? Well, you see, Louie, while I recognize the accomplishment of the contestants, I prefer not to dwell on wins and losses. Each match is a standalone experience, and to me, I believe that the only thing the Tomblets need to worry about is doing their best, and to have fun while doing it. Completely understandable. This does not void the prize we will be giving away at the end of today, however. This beautiful new kitchen appliance set, provided by the Funny Fridge Company. Oh, Burglar is definitely winning that thing today, no question. I, I take back the thing I said about winning and losing, he's winning. Excellent prediction, Saul. Let's see if it plays out. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go check the roulettes. I'll still be here. Right here. At the desk. Camera. With a crank of this lever, the map right. life begins. Let's go! Well, Tumlets, it looks like you're all on your way, too. Uh, uh. Wiseau Street, home to a vast delivery warehouse and a lovely little disco palace. And it looks like we'll be playing by the rules of... Deathmatch! For those of you who are new, or have only just begun comprehending object permanence, the rules of deathmatch are simple. Our contestants arrive in the arena and have but one goal, to either reach 25 frags within the allotted time, or to have most frags by the time the clock hits zero. Now technically I just explained two separate goals, but the end result is essentially the same. Lots of shooting, and lots of explosions. Now that we've got our affairs settled, let's get this thing started! As soon as I get back in my chair.